This garden here that we're visiting today uh, was started in 2011. Um, I, I was hired here um, as an educational aide and there was a small garden right here and uh, we had an opportunity through a grant at the time, I think it was like $3,000 and we got uh, this fence put here. Um, they call it a deer fence, gives you adequate protection, protect your uh, food crops that you'll grow, your plants. Um, so I was also at the time in the position of education aid. I was working uh, with some people doing agriculture in the classroom right over here at the old elementary school. And so that, you know, that was 2011. So really my interest in doing this kind of work started picking up then. I'd done a little bit before and got my hands in the soil, uh, found it to be, really therapeutic in a way, you know, good medicine. And, you know, this kind of started it right here. Um, so we got the fence put in. Behind me, I got uh, these, this is nine raised uh, garden boxes that we've grown food in. We got a really good climate here for growing uh, food, flowers. Right over here on this fence, we have two grape plants I was given by uh, Danita Macy. And I planted them. So right over here, you're looking at 10 year, you know, nine, 10 year old grape plants um, that one of them grows a green grape, one of them grows a red grape. The green grapes have been very popular with youth who have participated in classes here. Uh, this year, um, actually up at the WSK8, I did a, a native pollinator plant, uh, collaborated with a lady named Karen Gentry from Discover Your Forest out of Bend. We did a project at a school, we had some leftover plants. We'll be at the school later, by the way. Um, the leftover plants I put right here in this bed. Um, this one right here is called milkweed. Um, and uh, right now, I've, I've been learning how the monarch butterfly, which is important to food production, is in serious decline um, everywhere. Um, and that the, this milkweed is, is a native plant and uh, that butterfly only lays its eggs and the larvae th of those eggs feed on this plant for a crucial time of their uh, development in life. And so they're encouraging people to plant the milkweed. So we got a little bit of milkweed right here in the demo garden. Uh, and we also uh, have some at this school to try to help out the monarch butterfly. Uh, right here, we got a few uh, blueberry plants. We got some bigger uh, ones other places, but the story with these is, is th this has had a learning curve to it. Um, you know, you make mistakes. These were planted in a bad area and they weren't doing very well at all. They were in real bad shape. So this is recovery row right here. <laughs> they, these guys are in recovery, uh, getting their health back and probably be distributed to community members at some time, at some point. Um, got some strawberries growing in here. Got a little guy coming up. Strawberries do pretty good here. Uh, you gotta keep them watered. Um, you gotta keep them trimmed up and pruned. And they do pretty good. You can see the grapefruit set. This is your grapes coming on right here. Uh, we uh, will be visiting another garden today where we've planted a bunch of seedless grapes. And so I'm very excited to see how grapes are gonna grow here in Warm Springs. Back here, we got a variety of raspberry and blackberry um, growing. I'm trying them in pots that are put in the ground a bit. Um, I pruned them all down this last, uh, let's see, uh, fall, winter. Um, no, early spring, excuse me, and they're off to a great start. And these kind of berries uh, do pretty well here in Warm Springs. Um, I really like the blackberry. So now we're over on uh, the other side of the boys' dorm. Um, we call this area Learning Garden Number Two. Uh, we got some grant dollars, 2017. In here, we have uh, we've put in grape plants. Uh, some 
down the fence line here we got uh, several varieties all the colors you know we're gonna have black and green and red grapes growing seedless munching grapes um, so I'm really anxious to see how these are gonna work out you know I was talking about our microclimate we have here down at the end down there we got seven different no five different apple trees um, growing there's seven total five different variety growing back there they're doing well we'll be up close later uh, to get a look at there's just some good fruit set this year it's pretty excited about that and we got uh, set a bunch of different garden boxes again we got uh, plant starts and stuff going up at our uh, school garden at the greenhouse that we'll be bringing down out here we have a new expanded open area uh, and the plan there is to uh, put more fruit trees and try all the different fruit trees and see how they might do down here we've been t i've been told by several people that peaches will do well here and so i'm excited to try that out as a child i grew up down by the museum in my grandfather's place and we had a peach tree and sometimes we'd get the best peaches it was really cool as i've went along this journey you know i was like wow i, I could see that this is a could be an important thing for our community as a way to supplement our traditional foods the salmon the elk and the deer the roots the huckleberry you know the choke cherry all the foods that we know that are so good for us um, we could supplement with other foods we could grow in this climate we have so that there's enough food for everybody to have this uh, garden was started in 2014 the plan here eventually is to provide fresh produce uh, for the youth here, for the kitchen here, to feed the youth and staff and families. And when we enter this garden, we have two peach trees. So you're looking at peach trees that were planted in 2014 down here in our microclimate. Got some peaches uh, going on there on this side. And you can see over here, man, looking good so far. Uh, for the school. Um, these are some transplanted strawberries from another area where they weren't doing too well. They're off to a great start right through here. Uh, these are all new strawberries from this year, planted this year here, here, and here. These are all strawberries uh, uh, for, for everybody to munch. Um, over here, this is a honeysuckle plant and this survived um, without re really, um, yeah, any care. It was pretty amazing over all those years. It was right there. These are new boxes. The old ones had gotten old and rotten, so we pulled them out, put new ones in. Um, this right here was kind of a mystery surprise. I believe it's a service berry, and something has eaten the berries. I don't know if it would be from the school or an animal, but there was some nice berries. There's one left. And a service berry is native to the continent, I believe, and they, they grow really all over. They're a pretty cool plant. And so, hey, and we put these uh, juniper posts in at the time. Um, a little story on juniper posts. We have some over here where we did a fence. They sat and literally, and there was a pipe leaking for years, like for the whole eight years, it was still leaking when I came back. Uh, the plumbers who fixed the problem pulled those posts um, and they were like well preserved. So juniper posts last for a long time, underground, in water, pretty amazing. Um, over here, uh, we have some blue, mainly blueberries growing around here. Um, these uh, came from the demonstration garden that we were at earlier. Um, and I moved them up here um, so that they could be enjoyed here. And they're off to a good start. They're doing good all in pots. Got two different variety of raspberry growing in here in the middle. They're looking good so far. Uh, back here, this is an apple tree I planted. So again, this is a eight year old apple tree. It's got some really nice fruit going on it. This one as well. Uh, I actually don't remember uh, the variety that we planted on the apple, so I can't tell you. This huge tree right here was planted by uh, Kirsten Hizitaki. This was the only thing here when this garden started. And she would have been uh, 
yet one of the people who initiated the whole idea and so we just kind of followed up and supported it and so this is what we have here today at the early childhood education so right here uh, we have a uh, uh, new uh, garden area. We were fortunate. We had some grant dollars that we were able to put to use. We built this uh, garden area as well as another new one up at the Simnasho area by the old school. Um, this garden right here called the, um, the Elder Garden. Um, the idea is to grow food for the kitchen. I've been working with Berlin, Yazi, and Wilson Weewa. Um, and we got going on it. We got these garden boxes with the soil in there and uh, we were getting ready to get some uh, fruit trees uh, planted in there. Uh, Berlin was wanting some fruit trees and uh, the, the building got vandalized. And, and so we lost water access, it got flooded. And so at this point, uh, we're waiting on a repair and as soon as it's done, we'll start growing some food for the senior kitchen. All right, we're up here at the uh, school garden up at the WSK-8. Um, we uh, collaborated with 509J on this one um, and utilized some farm to school grant dollars and we were able to get the fence, the raised garden boxes, the soil, the things that you see here. Um, I'll start off by showing you something that was just done here recently. Right here we have a native plant, uh, pollinator plant display. Uh, collaborated with Karen Gentry out of Discover Your Forest in Bend. We supplied the boxes in the soil. She brought the plants down and we did a, a couple of after school uh, classes with youth in the uh, 21st century program. And so we have that here. Behind it right here, we got a nice uh, choke cherry. Uh, um, and they grow well here. We have six choke cherries that were put here probably when the school was built. Is they're very cool. In here we got our raised garden boxes. We've grown different things: tomatoes, peppers, uh, squash, and pumpkins, um, carrots, and radishes. Uh, we've done, you know, uh, we've had a bunch of uh, after-school uh, classes and had some fun. Uh, we got strawberries growing out here right here and they, they do really well up here. Um, everything else uh, we, we have either in, started in our greenhouse, which you'll see shortly, and we'll be getting all these planted. And there's a pollinator right there, Brutus. Check that guy out. That's just, all the flowers you see this year, we received a small grant from the Bend Environmental Center um, because we noticed over the last three years, we've tried to grow pumpkins up here and they, they get going and they flower great, but we just haven't got much fruit. And so we were told, uh, look at the pollinators and sure enough, you know, we don't have a bunch up here for whatever reasons. So we brought in a bunch of flowers this year to try to bring in the, the bees, the butterflies and the hummingbirds uh, to pollinate so we could have more success in our are growing. We have this greenhouse here, it's been here three years and we've been able to get a lot done in it. Um, right now, right here you have some plants that were left from a class so I need to come up with a plan for these. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Um, over here I was just given these plants um, by Bambi, um, Bambi um, the principal, her sister. I don't recall her name, gave us these. We got cabbage and tomato. Many going, those will be going out there. We got some more, we got some sunflowers going on. Um, uh, I planted the pumpkins outside a little early. They got hit by that cold spell we had, so they got knocked down a bit, but we still have a few more here. Um, these right here, these are all watermelon starts. So we're gonna be growing some watermelons at our gardens. And down here, again, these were left by, uh, uh, class so I there's no plan for these I gotta come up with a plan where to put those and the rest of it is empty at this time through here you can see the back of the greenhouse area uh, right here we have the pumpkin starts you can see the weathered uh, leaves um, it, they, they all got affected by the cold 
but you can see like new green leaves coming up so I'm glad it looks like they're gonna make it this got a little setback got some tomatoes again Bambi's sister provided those over there to the left and I believe one zucchini right there right through here uh, we have a uh, different kind of uh, flowering plants going on in the back there the tall ones you see are sunflowers and those were planted uh, from seed to being planted out here uh, we worked with uh, Mr. Adam Kaw in special programs and it was his uh, class that uh, we worked with on Tuesdays and Thursdays through the last several months of the year and they helped us out quite a bit it was awesome a lot of fun uh, one of the things that his class helped us plant is right over here check out this choke cherry uh, first food how cool um, filled with berries well we brought in another first food. We brought in five huckleberry bushes this year and Mr. Cause class helped us plant them. We brought in the boxes. Um, I'm really, they're, they're called the evergreen huckleberry so they're not going to be what we know from up in the woods. That's a whole, you know, different deal. Um, but they're the evergreen huckleberry. And down here on the end we planted a hydrania flowering plant these like the shade you can see so we got some more pollinators they like lots of water you can check out this view from the back of our uh, garden here at the school another choke cherry tree a couple more hydrania plants we put in this year these are new they're getting established they're going to get pretty big um, you can see right here this is a sunflower just come uh, these sunflower plants right here these are just coming up on their own we uh, have grown them in the past I didn't plant those um, all these other ones this is called a yarrow I really like this one these were planted this year with the dollars uh, to do the pollinator plants but we got some really cool sunflowers coming on some marigolds marigolds are cool um, for attracting pollinators but they also keep some of the pests away another sunflower plant some more flowers I believe this is called the Quran got these berries going on these are pretty cool last year during COVID we started a grow at home garden program where we have will deliver two two by two boxes to your home and that that pro uh, with the soil the seeds the plant starts and the support um, to help you be successful in growing your own foods at home that program is going on right now and um, you can contact me um, by email phone um, and we'll get you some garden boxes and get you set up to grow at home uh, the plan is you know for people interested is to continue to support that program we can add to that program and we also want to uh, do some fruit trees as well. Mm -hmm.